Hey guys, we're here again for uh, episode four of the vlog during the production of Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. Um, and again, tickets are already on sale at AtlanticStage.com or by phone, you can call 877-287-8587. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking to the cast a little bit about uh, the rhythm of the show, how they find it, why it's important, and um, a little bit on their take of the, a run-through of the show. I mean, a little bit of, a, of what a run through is, is it's literally an uninterrupted um, take on the scenes uh, in an act um, so that they can work on pacing, um, choreography, and their lines. Hopefully they're off book. So without further ado, let's talk to the cast. <laughs> so for you guys, what, what's your take on, on rhythm? How do you find the rhythm of a show? So rhythm and pacing is obviously very, very important, um, especially a show like this, all kids, kids move quickly, um, thoughts change on a split of a moment, um, there always is a direction of where they're going, you know, kids are, are you know, they're like, if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it without being interrupted, um, you know, entrances are always crossed over, um, no pauses, really, and of course, it has to come, like, naturally, so when you're in the, on the back, in backstage, you know, you have to say, I'm not just walking on stage, but why am I walking on stage, and where am I going to, and is something interrupting me in between, um, so yeah, just finding that, we're still finding it, of course, um, yeah. The, the topic of pace becomes really important, I think, when we're talking, when we're doing something comedic, uh, above everything in theater, uh, because you have to have that comedic timing, and, I, you know, comedic is, it's, it's so much harder to master, I think. We have a great team that is helping us through it, a great director who knows all about comedy. <laughs> um, so finding that comedic timing, and then, but also, you know, having a sense of urgency in some of the scenes can be really, really important as well. Mm -hmm. um, I can piggyback on that. Um, our director, Greg London's favorite phrase for finding that empty space between scenes is dead air, and you don't want it. Um, what's really cool about this show in particular is that the scenes are actually a bunch of vignettes pulled um, from like the animation, from the comics, like from things like that. So these are like real scenes that exist within like the world of Peanuts and within the world of Charlie Brown. So what's really cool is that each scene has like a different energy behind it. It's in a different location, different time, different setting, and there's a different feel going on with each of the characters. So what's really cool about piecing all those puzzle pieces together is that although the plot may not be consecutive, the whole image of Charlie Brown's world and the friends he has, it's all unified. And what's really cool about being in this, in this space is we're finding how each of those scenes connects and how we can apply that to our characters and how we can kind of explore and find new things within the text and within each other and, <laughs> and things like that. And I feel like the chemistry between the characters is definitely more organic and more like believable now that we're here and everything's kind of coming together and we're getting the rhythm of the show in our bones and in the back of our mind. It's not something we're thinking about. So, mm -hmm. so piggybacking off of that, um, <laughs> you said the word organic. Mm -hmm. So is it important for you guys, especially when you're, you're, you're uh, memorizing all of this choreography um, and ha you have to be in time with the music, otherwise you look uh, silly. Um, <laughs> How, how do you guys maintain the discovery of the rhythm and the moment of a particular scene organically throughout the process of a show without becoming robotic? Well, each show is going to be a little different, you know, um, because of the audience, how the audience is going to react to us and stuff. So, I mean, you really can't... Greg also gives us like, okay, that's like a two beat moment. You know, if we're going to um, say a joke and then the punchline comes, give, give us two beats and then say the punchline. So that we kind of always have like a little metronome in our mind, but as far as if an audience laughs or if they don't laugh, you know, that is going to change from night to night. So that will just naturally make it organic. And, um, and I mean, we're also really finding out the ways we love to say certain lines, you know, or how we feel during certain lines. So those lines are changing, which is kind of changing the reactions to each line. So it's it's all still, I mean, it's still very organic. Yeah. Very and, and I think it's really important, like, staying, like, really truthfully in the moment. You know, you don't want to, 
it, it is really hard after you're robotic when it's in your bones and you're really doing it for like three weeks but <laughs> but truly like getting that mindset of like have never doing this before you know like have, i've never spoken these words before um but just really staying in the moment and like just getting in that zone and just finding the truth in everything you do every single time and maybe in a different way mm -hmm. so it can be really difficult, I think, too, because we're character acting, so we want to be maybe really robotic about things, really artificial about things, but we have to find that or organic nature of it all in order to bring the truth behind the piece as well, I think. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Again, tickets are on sale now. Um, go to AtlanticStage.com. You can use the offer code GETSTAGED, all lowercase, um, all one word, and you'll get an awesome discount. We'll see you next week.